at this story with Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. It's great to have you back on, Senator. Good to be it's with you. It's good to see you, you again. You. Thanks for joining us. What was your reaction to President Biden and the G7 leaders yesterday agreeing, yeah, there should be a new investigation into whether the Wuhan lab leaked COVID-19? Uh, I think if the G7 were to take this up, it would be a replica of the WHO's investigation. What we need is for Congress to do its job, for the Senate, the various standing committees to take this up. Why was Secretary Pompeo blocked? Why did uh, Secretary, uh, when Dr. Fauci work with Facebook? And why did he decide he was going to keep the lab leak theory squashed when some of us were calling for this? Why did he hide information? And then why were those of us that said, hey, we need to look into the origins of this and into the lab leak theory and he really kind of poo-pooed that. We were called anti-Asian, we were called racist, and uh, you know, he was out there agreeing with the Chinese Communist Party that nothing could have gone wrong in the Wuhan lab. So we need an independent investigation to get to the bottom of every bit of this. So are you gonna get an independent commission to do it? Or no, this is Congress, it do needs it because, to be. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Judiciary Committee needs to look at what happened at the State Department. The Intel Committee needs to look at some of these communiques from our diplomatic scientists. Uh, the Commerce Committee needs to take up what happened with big tech. And uh, Dr. Fauci really kind of working with Mark Zuckerberg there and the tech companies to create a narrative, basically a PR campaign uh, that he was running instead of getting information to the American public. Look, we have had hundreds of thousands of American families adversely impacted. Loss of life, sickness, illness, loss of livelihood. Children have lost a full year of education and socialization. Yeah. Teen suicides are at an all-time high. There need to be answers. There needs to be accountability. Dr. Fauci okay. was not giving us this information, so was he giving it to the president and vice president? He didn't share it with the American people. Did he share it with the COVID you know, response committee? Let's watch the president. Let's watch President Biden on this. Watch this. Well, one of the things I raised and others raised, I wasn't the only one who raised this at the G7, is that uh, um, we don't know, we haven't had access to the laboratories to determine whether or not, I have not reached a conclusion because our intelligence community is not certain yet whether or not this was a consequence of a uh, from the marketplace of a bat and you know in, uh, interfacing with 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 animals in the environment that caused this 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 uh, uh, COVID-19 or whether it was uh, an experiment gone awry in a laboratory it's important to know the answer to that we have to have access the world has to have access but the media, the New York Times, CNN, MSNBC, misled their viewers, calling this a fringe conspiracy theory. Dr. Fauci, as you pointed out, spent much of last year downplaying it, it even yes. though behind the scenes he was warning war leaders last spring that this, this may have leaked. Look, in the Christian Science Monitor reporting that the Democrats are, don't want to look into the Wuhan lab leak uh, because uh, the allegedly Wuhan lab leak, because they don't want to distract from the narrative that about Trump's mishandling of the pandemic. Your response to that? Well, a couple of things there. First of all, let me say, Dr. Fauci is not a victim. He is trying to play one and say he's being adversely impacted and that if you oppose him, you oppose science. The second thing, it shows you how much they, uh, the, the media hated President Trump and how much they side with the Chinese Communist Party. The third thing, why was Dr. Fauci sending U.S. taxpayer dollars to a lab controlled by the communist Chinese, then we have this pandemic and they refuse 
to let anybody from the United States into that lab. Uh, there are people that need to be held to account. It sounds as if President Biden is just beginning to realize that this was not something that was Donald Trump's fault. This is something that came from Wuhan, China. Otherwise, Elizabeth, why would the Chinese Communist Party have locked down Wuhan in Ubei province and said you can go nowhere in China if you are coming from Wuhan or Ubei? And but you could go out okay. to the airport and fly around the globe. Got it. Senator Marsha Blackburn, thanks for coming back on. It's good to see you again. Come back. Good to soon. see you. Thanks. Let's